part two says, hence find the exact value of this. <clears throat> so why is that a hence question? Well, we can see this four sine theta on the top here, so maybe that's got something to do with it. If we um, go ahead and change this four sine theta into what we found out up here, What are we going to be able to do with that? Well, you can see on the bottom that there's a sine theta plus cos theta term, which we've got here. We can't just cancel that out, though. But what we can do is split this back into two separate fractions. So we can say that this is the same as Uh, two lots of sine theta plus cos theta over sine theta plus cos theta minus two lots of cos theta minus sine theta over sine theta plus cos theta. So we now we can cancel this bracket here. This is going to cancel with this. So the first term is actually just 2. But what's going on here? Now this looks fairly like we're never going to be able to integrate it, but look what happens. If we differentiate sine theta, we get cos theta. And if we differentiate cos theta, we get minus sine theta. So in other words, the differential of this is this bracket here. And that's one. That's the ln rule, the log rule. If the differential of the bottom is the top, then the answer is the natural log of the bottom. We've got minus two lots of that, so we've got minus two ln of the bottom of sine theta plus cos theta. I've, I've written this slightly wrong. I've, already, I've gone ahead and integrated this already. So that, um, I'm going to get rid of that integral sign. I'm going to integrate this beginning bit here, which will be 2 theta. And now this will be right. So integrate this 2, we get 2 theta. Integrate all this, we get the ln of the, well, minus 2 ln of the bottom. So that's what I've written there. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. Um, that's between 0 and pi over 4. So now when we put our limits in, we're going to have 2 lots of pi over 4, which is pi over 2, minus 2 ln of sine of pi over 4. Make sure you're in radians for this. Sine of pi over 4 is 2 root 2 plus cos of pi over 4, cos of pi over 4 is also 2 root 2 minus what we get when we put 0 in. When we put 0, we're going to get 0 here minus 2 ln of sine of 0, which is 0, plus cos of 0, which is 1. So we've got pi over 2 minus 2 ln root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2 is root 2 minus 2 ln of 1. ln of 1 is 0. If we just go back to the top of the, uh, the question, it says give your answer in the form a pi minus ln b. We've, we've got our a pi, we've got half pi here, but we've not got ln b. Because we've got this 2 in front of our ln. So if we raise this up as a power, that's going to be ln of root 2 squared which is obviously just 2. So it's pi over 2 ln 2.